some games that are more than one player aren't just fun with two people. Especially if you're playing a game like a card game like Uno. Hi everybody, it's me now. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing in me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. If you did not already, I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. And today in this video, I have another story time for you. Yes, another story time. I only have a couple more to do and then I'll do other videos besides story times. So today's story time is going to be the time I was playing a game of Uno with my mom and it actually was kind of funny because we ended up getting bored because it was just the two of us on vacation playing Uno. So this is a story just to teach you guys that sometimes when you're playing a game that's for more than one person and you only have two people playing, it's not as fun as you think it is. So, so this is a story just to teach you guys that some games are just only fun with more than one than two players. So I'm going to get started and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Again, if you haven't seen one of my, so I forgot, yeah, I hate this. Intro. Hi everybody, it's Mino. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. And today in this video, I have a story time for you about how my mom and I got bored playing Uno um, um, on a vacation trip to the Russian River because there were only two, pe two of us and it wasn't as fun as we expected it to be. So this is a story just to teach you guys. Sometimes when you're playing games like card games or board games, it's not as fun unless you have more than one pe more than two people, I should say. And um, it's just difficult to make it fun when you're only playing with two people. So I do have a Uno story, which is a game of Uno gone wrong. And if you want to see the full story, I will link that down below if you didn't see. So I'm going to get started and I hope you guys. So this all started about two years ago. I was on vacation up at the Russian River with my mom and we had brought a game of Uno with us because I um, wanted to play Uno while we were up at the Russian River. So we stopped at like I think maybe the dollar store or was it the local um, local vibe and dime store or whatever there was up there. Um, so and we grabbed a car game of Uno. So while we're sitting up on the deck at the lodge we start playing the game and we're having, we start to have fun for a little bit. And then we're, because we're busy passing cards back and forth, and it kind of went a lot faster than we expected. And then we realized like we weren't having as much fun as we expected because the game ended a lot quicker than we expected. And usually when you play Uno, it does kind of last for a while because everybody goes like in a circle or it goes like, clockwise or counterclockwise and then it takes a while because people are going through their cards and stuff and the game just ended quickly because we did have seven cards each but we ended up getting rid of our cards quickly and the game ended so fast that we got bored with it and we decided that it wasn't a lot of fun with more than one person so my mom decides to get a book out to read and we sit together and hang out and I pull out my knitting because um, I thought it would be fun to start knitting because since our game of Uno didn't go as well as we expected. But we still had fun in the end, but we definitely did learn that it's a lot funner with more people. So the moral of the story is it's sometimes really hard to make games that are for more than two players fun when um, you only have two people playing like card games and stuff. Stuff, and it's not as fun as you think it is so sometimes those games are just better to save for when there's more than two people to play the game with. So that was a story about how my mom and I got bored playing a game of Uno because there are only two of us. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching um, and if you didn't see uh, my story about playing Uno of Game of Uno Gone Wrong, and if you want to see the video, I'll link it down below if you didn't see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye! Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe so you don't
Don't miss out on future videos.